you're at a restaurant and you order several dishes because you and your friend decided on splitting meals. Well, once all that food arrives, you start to feel a sense of remorse because you remember that not too long ago, you were hearing your classmate talk about the many people that face world hunger. It's crazy to even think that we may only know a small percentage of what's actually going on around us. Truly, it's not possible to know all the problems that are in this world. And to the people that may know some, how many do you actually think do something about it? And I'm not trying to say that all people are bad and selfish. That's not at all what I'm trying to say. I know some may get too caught up into their own lives and it's hard to take a look at other things. Despite that being said, the root of the problem really comes from the people that are giving more opportunities, not helping those that are less fortunate. I like to put things into a perspective of, there's always gonna be someone that has more than you. But there's also going to be someone that has less. This only meaning that you should truly be grateful for what you have. You know, according to Rob, <laughs> to Sri Stumbler, there are many negative effects that came with the COVID-19 pandemic that has led them to work on ending hunger and poverty. This really proves that it can happen to anyone, you know? And like Thomas J. Bassett said, low education and discrimination and isolation all lead to hunger and poverty. It's hard for households to really enjoy that little growth of income. With this in mind, those low income households are more likely to face this problem. According to Robert Black, um, women are more to have more deficiency to those basic nutrients. Three hundred fifteen thousand have died while in childbirth every year there are many at risk and critical when they're born into it you know they're born into that difficult life even harder when pregnant in this world of hunger and that's only leading to health problems and the usc agency for international development mentioned that Educating people properly in nutrition, sanitation, and hygiene will lead to a health uh, crucial to addressing food insecurity. Food shortages is truly relevant. This is pro a problem that is a cause to world hunger and it can truly affect you. So. The website concerning worldwide the U.S. published that one third of all food produced goes to waste. So stop wasting food, that very value, valuable food, and instead give it. Let us be more resourceful with our food, you know? Let's try to address the problem by um, talking to someone. Like, talk to more people and tell them what the problem is. Let them know that we should really take it into consideration. There's people out there suffering, and we're over here throwing our food away. This is a big problem. We should all be contributing to ending it. So tell everyone, educate them highly important to educate them and encourage them to be better together.
try to donate if you can or volunteer spend your time volunteering and just try to make a change give a hand in conclusion we can clearly know that many people have died from this problem so be thoughtful of what you throw away next time you go to a restaurant it can really help someone out and lastly do something about it so that we can end this and just end a problem one at a time.